Okay, here we are the next day. I've got my uh, fifth string bridge, fifth string shelf in place here. I got to cut these dowel pins off, grind the edges on them, and then I'm ready to uh, drill the hole for the fifth string peg. So I'll get busy on that. Okay, here's what we have after I work on this thing. I uh, drilled my hole using three different drill bits so that I did it in stages so as not to crack this piece of wood here. And then after I drilled it, I uh, went back to the belt sander and I sanded this so that this actually moved the fifth peg in a little bit. I still left a good a little wood here for support, but it, instead of having the, the fifth string peg being farther out, uh, I kind of brought it in by about an eighth of an inch. This is a uh, piece of bone and it's uh, basically the uh, fifth string nut right here and I drilled the hole for it and I set it in there and I put this in a vise, took a coping saw and uh, basically cut a notch in the top of it and then I edged it just slightly forward. It fits in the hole in such a way that there's a little bit of room and by ed I glued it and edged it forward and I'm going to let it dry. The reason for edging it forward is so the string will come off of this on the back side of it. If it comes off on the front side, it can rattle literally inside the nut. So by coming off the back side, it's not, uh, it, there's nothing that it's touching once the string leaves the contact point, which will reduce the likelihood of any kind of rattle, which is what I want. So with that done, this neck is basically ready to go on, except that I've got to drill a hole back here for the bolt I'm going to put in it and then put the uh, other pegs up at the top there. But I'm not going to do anything else right now except let this dry and then I'll come back to it. Well I had a little bit of a change in plan. This banjo pot came today. This is a Stuart McDonald pot with a uh, white lady tone ring. Uh, you know I bought this off eBay. I was looking at it and uh, it seemed like the price was really right. And I snatched it up and uh, I didn't really forget about it, but it came today and when it did, I thought, well, what about that? And I set this neck on it and, boy, it looks pretty good sitting on there, you know. It looks right nice sitting on there. So I'm thinking, hmm, well, maybe I'll leave the Dynaflow alone for now. I did have another neck that I thought eventually I might be able to put on it. And, Maybe I'll just leave it alone, throw this neck on here. I'd be awful curious to see what this white lady pot sounds like. It's a maple pot with a white lady tone ring in it. So that said, I think I'm gonna put that neck on there right quick. After that, it shouldn't take me too long to get her strung up and uh, see what she sounds like.